What's good guys? In this video, we're going to be going over React. And we're going to be going over specifically theme context, okay? And um, the, a theme, we're going to be using a theme controller. And so why do we want to use theme context? Well, because um, sometimes in your project, if you're, especially if it's a large project, um, you can just wrap your uh, project inside of a theme controller. And with theme context, you can basically have certain components, certain properties of components. Um, you can have them be whatever is a part of your theme. Um, and so why would you want to do this is because uh, versus, you know, passing down your properties down to all your components, you know, you have to do sometimes, you know, you're passing your props down like multiple times to, to down through component after component after component, and it just gets to be really tedious. And so this is just how you can have a one place for your properties or your theme or whatever it be. And you don't have to, um, you know, change, go down. Because if you change your property, you know, sometimes you have to rewrite your props and all this other stuff. And uh, it can just be, you know, a hassle. And so you don't need to do that with theme, uh, theme context. So um what's a situation that you could use this for is like light theme versus dark theme um you can use that for this or use this for that uh so let's go ahead and get into it so i'm just going to create um a few module scripts here just kind of get the project started i need i need a theme we need a theme controller we need our theme context and we need our main container and we need a component that we can use like a frame we're just going to make a frame for this um what else do we need we need our mounter so local script mounter okay and we have rowack all right cool so let's go ahead and get started. Let's do our uh, local rollback equals game require. I can't forget to do the requires. I always forget to do the requires. Require game not replicated. Wait for child row act. All right, we're just gonna copy this. Actually, yeah, we're just gonna copy this. We're gonna paste it in all of our stuff. Okay. Um, so now we're requiring rel act um, in all of our stuff. Um, mount is just going to be simple. We're just going to grab our main. So require game dot replicated wait for child main. And now we're going to mount main rel act dot mount rowac dot create elements main we're not going to pass any properties game dot players dot local player dot player gy we're going to pass in the player gy we're going to give it main um and yeah so um yeah now what we're going to do is let's go to our frame component actually Let's go to our main, let's set up our main component first just to get it out of the way. So main local main equals row act dot component extend main return main um, function main render uh, all right, cool. Uh, let's go to our theme controller now. Well, actually, I'm going to go to our component, so our frame component, and I'm just going to do uh, return function props component just to set it up. And I'm going to do return um, row act dot create elements frame. I'm going to give it a size of uh, um, two dot from scale 0.5, 0.5. Okay, so boom, I got the size there. So that's our frame so far set up. We got our main set up a little bit. 
theme context. Okay, so first let's let's yeah let's set up theme context first. So this is all you have to do to set to create a context. Okay, is just roact dot create context and then pass in the table. Okay. And that's going to be um, how you would just create your context. And then we're going to go to our theme controller. We're going to uh, require our theme context. And um, require game.replicated wait for child theme context. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the ROAC docs and we're going to. Um, copy this right here just so we can set up a controller really fast and boom that's our controller and we can change these properties so we're just going to do background color for now um so let's create a property of background color three equals um and then we'll actually have a default value for this so local default color equals color three dot from RGB and I want it to be orange. All right, so we're gonna have um, default color. Boom, so we have a background color three property, okay? So now this is pretty much set up um, for our theme controller. Our theme controller is pretty much set up. Now I'm going to do a function uh, theme controller um did mount okay because we're going to manipulate our uh state right um but i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that yet okay um what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over to our component okay and so we need to get our theme context so theme context equals Wire game dot replicated wait for child theme context. Okay, we're gonna get our theme context. All right, and then so now we're gonna go back over here. We're gonna copy this. Okay, we're just, we just need this real quick. We're gonna put this in our component. Okay, um, and then if you if it says yeah, I'll read this too because it you know I I suck at explaining things sometimes. So I'll read that. Uh, to you guys real quick, but um, this is how we would uh, basically set up our components using con theme context. Um, and then so now what we can do is we can say background color three equals theme dot background color three. Okay, and so now that's we're basically set taken in our theme. Uh, this component is basically taken in our theme and it is a consumer of our theme context. So the consumer so components that are consumers of our theme context. Okay. They, they just take the, they just take the theme properties. They take in the theme properties. Now we go back over to our theme controller and you can see that we have theme context dot provider. So this is a provider and it's basically providing our theme properties. Okay. So that's what this is right here. Value equals self uh, dot state dot theme, and then you know self dot props rack children. This is just says that you know it's going to take in all the children of the whatever we give it. Okay, um, and that's what we're going to do eventually. We're going to actually we could just do that now in our render in our main container. Okay, is we're going to basically wrap everything in this main container in our theme. Uh, controller okay so we do need to get our theme controller real quick so uh, theme controller equals require game dot replicated wait for child uh, theme controller and we're going to return roac dot create element theme controller empty table now we're going to give it children now this empty table is just empty properties we're not going to give our theme controller any properties so we just leave that empty and we're going to now um give it uh children so what would we do um with this so first of all we need to create a screen gui okay so row act dot 
create element screen GUI and um, yeah so now we can get our frame component okay so equals frame um, require game not replicated wait for child frame and then so frame equals relax dot create element uh, frame and we don't need to pass in any properties um all right so let's see here um let's see if this works real quick see if we have any like typos or anything like that um we do we didn't return something what did we not return that's returning that is returning that's returning we didn't return our theme controller all right, so uh, boom, there you go. So now that's our theme, right? And so now what we can do is we can manipulate it. It's just a very simple way, right? And now here's the deal, right? If we had if we had passed down our props, we'd have to go over to our main and you know give it down to background color three equals. We'd have to pass in the props there. Then we'd have to go in and to our frame and do you know props dot whatever and now let's say our frame was like let's say this component was in um like it let's say like this component was was being passed down through several other components and our main right and so now we're gonna have to pass in props after props after props we're gonna have to write up the props for it and pass it in whereas with theme we don't need to we don't, we don't need to do that and it's so it's very very efficient um um yeah so now what i want to do is just show you all how you can like manipulate the theme so let's say if we had a button basically um well actually let's create a button real quick so let's just do that um button equals real act dot create elements uh text button um text button um position equals bootm to dot from scale zero five zero five size equals bootm to dot from scale zero one zero one and then we'll say uh that's pretty much all we'll do right there. Um, and then we'll do local function, um, <clears throat> local function, change color, uh, and then we're actually going to use a bindable for this. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll use a bindable. So local bindable equals game dot replicated, wait for child event. We're gonna create a bindable real quick. And then we're gonna say um, bindable fire, okay. And then we're gonna say uh, roact.event.activated equals change color. Um, and then what we're going to do is on our bindable or our theme controller, we're going to do, um, we need to get our bindable real quick, local, uh, bindable equals game not replicated wait for child event. And then we can say bindable dot event connect function. Um, set or self set state uh, theme theme equals um, actually how are we going to do this theme dot background color I don't even think we can do it like this I'm tripping I forgot how to fucking 
Got background color three. Yeah, this is not gonna work because I've tried this before, so it just doesn't work like that. So yeah, equals uh, color three dot from RGB to green. Okay, yeah, see this is not, this isn't how this works. So we're gonna do theme um, equals uh, background color three equals color three dot from RGB green. Okay, so this should be our new background color if we change, if we set up the button or if we click the button, if, when, when we activate the button, this will be like our new background color for our theme, right? So yeah, let's let's go ahead and see if we have any error, crazy errors. Position is not, okay, yeah, we already have a typo, obviously, because I suck, um, I suck at spelling. All right, so let's test it out now. Boom, and then it, it changed, right? And so that's how you can use really theme context. Um, so it's like really, really freaking efficient uh, if you know that you're gonna maybe change a lot of your properties or if you just have a large project and you just wanna be able to uh, change maybe the way some of your properties are for certain things, um, like maybe you just, you know, want to do that. So you can use theme context for that too. Um, yeah, guys, I hope this video was helpful. I'll see you guys on the next one. Um, peace.